Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today by popular demand I'm going to show you guys five of my favorite Cydia tweaks. Now I haven't made videos on these tweaks in the past, so I decided to share them with you guys today. And if you see any sort of tweak or modification that's installed on my iPhone 5 here that I don't go over in today's video, then just be sure to check out my other Cydia videos for iOS 6. I'll include some annotations on the screen now, so just be sure to check out those after watching this video. And also, I just wanted to mention that all of these tweaks will work on any version of iOS 6, including 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.0.2, 6.1, 6 6.1.1, 6.1.2, and 6.1.3. And yes, unfortunately, iOS 6.1.3 did patch the evasion jailbreak for most devices like the iPhone 5, but if you own something like an iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, or a fourth generation iPod Touch, then you can still jailbreak iOS 6.1.3 using a simple red snow workaround. So I'll also have some annotations on the screen now to my latest jailbreak videos and if you aren't already jailbroken just be sure to jailbreak and then you can come back to this video so you can get the awesome tweaks demonstrated because of course you will need to be jailbroken and you will need to have Cydia to install all of the packages that will be demonstrated in today's video. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and start off. And in no particular order, coming in in position number one, we have AnyLock app. So let me open up the settings application here and show you exactly what it does. So scrolling down here, let's go ahead and go inside any lock app. And once we're here, we can go ahead and choose any application. Now let me explain what this does really quick. Essentially, it replaces the camera access on the lock screen with any application you choose. So let me go ahead and scroll down. We're going to select Cydia. And once we have the desired application selected, all you have to do is simply lock your device. And then the next time you're at the lock screen, the camera access icon will be replaced with whichever application you choose. And for this demonstration, I did choose Cydia. So let's go ahead and swipe up and now it will bring us directly to Cydia instead of the camera. And again, you can do this with any application you have installed on your device and it's definitely a really simple and really awesome tweak. All right, next, speaking of simple, we have browser chooser. So let me go back into the settings application here and we'll go to the browser chooser portion of the settings app. And from here, we can set our default browser. Now this tweak is very similar to Maps Opener in the sense that it allows you to essentially bypass the default application for opening URLs. So whereas Maps Opener allowed you to set the Google Maps application as your default app, browser chooser will allow you to set any browser you have installed from the App Store as your primary browser. So let me give you guys a quick example of what I mean. So I'm going to open up my texting app here and you'll notice that I have a link in my conversation. So let me go ahead and just tap on that link and it will take me directly to my website. And this is what it would look like if you were to tap on a link without browser chooser installed. But since we do have browser chooser installed, we can go ahead and change our primary browser. So I'm going to go back to the settings application and change the default browser to Chrome. So now when we go to tap on a link, instead of opening it in Safari, it will open it in our browser of choice, which in this instance is Google Chrome. And one last thing I wanted to show you guys for browser choosers, what happens when you don't have your default browser selected. So I'm going to uncheck Chrome there and we're going to go back to the conversation with the link. And now this time when I try to to tap on the link, it will ask me which browser I wanna open it in. So this time I can select Safari if I so choose. But most people will download this tweak to bypass Safari. All right, and coming in at number three, we have Gridlock 2.0. And you may have already noticed this tweak. What Gridlock allows you to do is essentially arrange your icons in any order. You don't have to fill up the icons to place them in another row. You can simply place them wherever you want. So all you have to do is enter the standard icon wiggle mode and you can place your icons anywhere you want on your spring board. Once you have them in the correct position or once you have them in a position that you like, then you can simply press the home button and it will exit that icon edit mode. And then from there, you can simply enjoy your icon arrangement. So as you can see, I did make an eye in this case for this video. So let me go ahead and put the settings application back and we're going to go ahead and just transition into the fourth tweak, which is live papers. You may have also already noticed this. As you can see in the background, I have a live representation of planet Earth that does change when I swipe the page. The Earth will rotate, as you can see. It looks very nice, it's very clean, and it's just overall a fantastic tweak. Let me just tap on live papers here. Now that it's open, you will see I do have a few different options. I did have 
to purchase this specific live wallpaper, but I did it just to show you guys exactly how awesome live papers really is. So let me go ahead and go over to Bubbles, which is the default one you get. You don't have to actually purchase one. You can purchase the wallpaper packs though, if you choose and if you wanna upgrade. So let me go ahead and just set the Bubbles to my lock screen. And now when I lock my iPhone here, you will notice I do have a new live wallpaper. So as you can see, this time I have bubbles and you'll notice that when I tap on the screen, the bubbles move and they speed up and they can also change directions. And this is definitely my new favorite tweak right now. Let me just go ahead and open up live papers one last time and show you guys that you can easily configure the more advanced wallpapers. So once you have it selected, you can simply tap configure in the right and you have all sorts of different options. So for this live wallpaper, we can customize where we want the position of the earth and we can also change other things such as the atmosphere color, the atmosphere opacity. We can change whether or not we want it to be on a colored background, our wallpaper, or stars, and we can even change the rotation speed. So let me go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to increase the rotation speed to show you guys exactly what that looks like. All right, and it automatically updates. I don't need to respring. I simply can tap the home button and the changes will be automatically applied. Okay, and coming in in position number five is APT date. So let me go ahead and just open up my Photos app. This is the best way I figured I could explain to you guys what APT date is. So essentially, once you install APT date, you will receive banner notifications when there's an update for one of your packages available inside of Cydia. It automatically pushes those notifications to you. And aside from being able to enable or disable this tweak, you can't really do anything like I said, it just automatically checks every five hours. If there's an update available inside of Cydia, it should automatically send you a push notification as long as the update is for a package on one of the default repositories. All right, and that concludes this video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you have suggestions for my next Top City of Tweaks video, just be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Also, don't forget, you can still enter into my $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do is simply rate this video up and leave a relevant comment in the comment section. Once your comment is posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And don't forget, to be updated more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me in one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.